Hello, my name is Eric White, and today we're going to talk about how to use the command prompt. Well, first things first, we have to open up the command prompt. So click on the Start button, then click on Run, and type CMD, that's Charlie Mike Delta, and then hit Enter. That's going to open up the Windows command prompt. Now, what are some things that you can do in here? Well, first off, you can edit a file.txt. And what this command is going to do is it's going to create a file called uh, file.txt. And it's going to open it in the command line editor. So I'm going to hit Enter. There it is. Now you're looking at the command line editor. So you can type, you know, this is my edit file and I like it. Okay, hold the Alt key down and hit F. That opens up the file menu. Arrow down as, and hit save. Hit Alt F again, opens it up. You can hit the up arrow and it puts you on exit and then hit enter. Now you're back to your original directory. So let's say you don't want that file in this directory. Well, you can copy that file. And if you hit Tab, it'll automatically complete the, the file name. So copy space file.txt. And let's, let's just put it in the root drive and the root directory of C. So I hit Enter. It says one file copied. So now if we CD to C, and I do a directory listing, and I'm going to do it wide so that we can see all the, all the files. You'll see right here the file name txt. Well, I don't really like that name, so let's rename file.txt to awesome underscore file.txt. Then hit enter. Now if I do a directory slash w, there is my awesome file dot txt. Well, the only thing left, well, there's two things. Let's uh, take a look at that file. I'm just going to do type, t-y-p-e, awesome, and then I hit tab to complete it, and then hit enter, and it types the file out. This is my edit file, and I like it. Well, maybe I don't like it so much anymore. I'm just going to type delete, awesome, enter, and now the file is gone. I'm sorry, D-E-L, not delete, <laughs> awesome, underscore, file.txt, and then hit enter, and it's gone. So if I do a directory slash W, the file's no longer in the list. You now know how to use the command prompt.